So recently we did a funeral here at the parish in December, actually. And usually, you know, if you've been to funerals here, typically what I'll do, I'll give the family an option. So either you can submit bullet points about the person who's dying if you've got things to do, because obviously there's a lot of planning when it comes to funeral arrangements and whatnot. But if you want to, ideally, you know, come in. Ideally, there's a lot of people and they're talking about the person who's died. It's really helpful for me just to kind of hear what is your first-hand experience about the person you love, the person who's now passed away. And this was the case with this particular family. And the plan was to go around in a circle. What do you recall about the person that died? What do you recall about this person that you loved? And so it began with the son-in-law. This person, my mother-in-law, put other people before herself. And then he paused. And then he gestured next to me, and basically to my right, his son just started weeping. And then he went to his mother, and his mother held him and was trying to console him. And everyone was caught up in a moment, and everyone started, started weeping. Here's this family, this group of people, and they recognized the moment. Like the goal in retrospect was not to go around the circle. Like that was the plan, but that wasn't the goal. The goal was to recognize what is the Lord doing? How is the Lord blessing this particular moment? Because He always does. And when you recognize it, to stop and to pause and to keep and to ponder, to taste and see the Lord is good, to not let this moment slip beneath your fingers. Right? This is the moment to take in this, this occasion which is unexpectedly sad, yet unexpectedly beautiful. It just so happens before the conversation was over, there was another beautiful moment. So the family was recounting about how basically they wanted to celebrate their last Christmas with the grandmother. And so she died on a Wednesday. And on the Sunday prior, the family went to the hospital. And because it was December and they knew it was kind of like her last Christmas, they celebrated with turkey dinner and whatnot. And the grandson was feeding her. And, and then all of a sudden, it was time to leave. And, and just imagine the thing, right? So this is like our final Christmas, but also our final farewell. And all of a sudden, the grandson, he kind of stopped in the doorway. He said, you know what, Grandma? I really love you. And everyone started weeping, you know? Simple statement, right? I love you, Grandma. She put other people before herself. Like, who hasn't heard a variation of that before? It's, it's so simple and so common, it's, it's almost cliche, but therein lies the point. The world always encourages us to go to way of amazement and wonder. The Gospel invites you in a certain sense to do the opposite. Recognize that the Lord often comes to you disguised as your ordinary life. Very much couched in the simple and the humble and the ordinary. And the invitation is to not let these things slip through your fingers. Recognize God manifesting His extraordinary grace and presence in ordinary things. And the invitation is to lean into those moments. Receive these moments with a spirit of contemplation and meditation. Taste and see if the Lord is good. Keep and ponder these beautiful, unexpected moments of grace. And when you do so, eventually in time, you will learn to see as God sees, to live as He lives, and to love as He loves.